Yo, what is up guys? It's Hike Cross, and today I'm very excited to bring you a review of the Fantech Helios 2 Pro S gaming mouse. This mouse is the newest release from Fantech. Fantech is a peripheral company that reached out to me about a few weeks ago and asked me to review their brand new gaming mouse, to which I obviously said yes. However, I want to make it clear that everything I say about this mouse is my honest opinion and I will not be biased in any way even though they were nice enough to send me their gaming mice and to others. So yeah, the Helios 2 Pro S is the upgraded version of their Helios 2 Pro, and it's priced around $95. And it's honestly a very great price point for what you're getting out of this mouse. And what makes this deal even sweeter is that Fantech includes the 4KHz dongle right in the box, which is quite rare among other brands. So before we get into the unboxing of the mouse and show you guys all the cool stuff that comes inside, I first want to mention Fantech was nice enough to send me two other gaming mice to give away Away, and I'll be giving these away in honor of hitting 7,000 YouTube subscribers. So thank you guys so much for helping me hit 7K. Hopefully we can hit 10K by the end of the year. I'm going to be grinding to hit that 10K milestone. But yeah, they sent me out two really cool gaming mice. I'll be giving these away in a giveaway. I'm still thinking the giveaway out, so stay tuned for everything about that. But I do know for certain that it is going to be a giveaway on my Twitch, and you guys have to be present to win. So my Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Make sure you guys click that link. Go follow my Twitch and put stream notifications on so you never miss a stream because I will be doing it live there, most likely spinning a wheel of some sort with your guys' names on it. And if it lands on you, then you will receive the mouse or something like that. I'm still working out the kinks of everything. But yeah, my Discord will also be in the description down below. Make sure you guys go there, follow High Cross Hills. That will give you guys all the inside scoop of information that's going to be dropping for this giveaway. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And with that said, let's get right into the unboxing of the brand new Fantech Helios 2 Pro S. So starting off with the unboxing, it's fairly standard. However, they include quite a bit inside, a lot of extras that I find very, very fun, and it shows how much Fantech cares as a company. First off, I wanna show you guys, this is the artwork on the outside of the box. Looks very, very nice. As you guys can see right here, it does include the 4K dongle, which is very highly appreciated. A lot of brands actually don't include the 4K dongle inside. Um, I know a lot of companies, you actually have to buy it as like a whole separate product, which is kind of annoying. So we'll open this up real quick and show you guys what comes inside. Obviously, you're going to find your mouse, your Helios 2 Pro S. Uh, I find it really cool. They give stickers. I put one of these stickers on the outside of my PC case, my streaming PC case. Um, I just kind of like put a bunch of stickers on that. Uh, obviously, you're going to find your user manual. The coolest thing inside this box, I find this absolutely awesome, is they actually sent out kind of like a coin. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it says Fantech on it. It says Team Fantech. Uh, and it says Gear Up and Win. And then on the back side of it, you guys can see it says like 8K, 4K. It has an engraving of the mouse and the dongle. And it looks like a wireless kind of design right there. It just looks really, really cool. And I love when companies send stuff like this. It just shows how much they care as a company about quality and sending just fun extras. It's really, really cool. I, I'm very impressed with that. Um, they sent extra mouse skates and dot skates if you guys want to play around with different types of skates. Uh, obviously, you have your grips. I'm not a fan of mouse grips, but I know a lot of people are. And then uh, just like a little note from the Fantex CEO, which is pretty cool there. And then your warranty card. So that's everything that comes in the box. Again, pretty standard, but I really like how they included things like the coin and dot skates and regular skates. Just stuff like that is just really, really cool in my opinion. So really cool there. We'll put this box back up, set it to the side. And now let's get to talking about my experience with the mouse so far. So this mouse honestly really surprised me. The second I put my hand on it, it felt almost natural. And I was very surprised on why it felt that way. And after doing further research, I actually found out that the width of the mouse is the exact same width of the Razer Viper V3 Pro. So me just holding it like this, it felt very natural in hand the second I held it. And to truly test out this mouse, I decided to hop into a Fortnite tournament. The tournament was the FNCS Skin Cup for the Champion Spark Plug outfit. And me and my duo actually ended up winning two games. We played second like twice or something and ended with like 358 points. And we ended up qualifying and getting the skin. So very, very cool there. I played the entire tournament using this mouse. It's my first like time using this mouse basically. And I dominated. My aim was great. I felt very, very comfortable using the mouse, which I was very impressed with. So honestly, straight off the bat, I'm really liking it. And I'm genuinely impressed with the performance this gives out. And just to kind of break down the performance in kind of segments, 
movements and feel and everything like that. I want to start by talking about the skates. The skates, in my opinion, are kind of like the weaker side of the mouse. I felt a couple times when moving my mouse across my mouse pad. There's nothing on my mouse pad whatsoever. It's a brand new mouse pad. There's no like uh, dust or hair or anything. So it's going to be very smooth. And I did notice the skates kind of uh, scrape against my mouse pad just a little bit every so often. If you kind of put it at an angle, like the side of the skate might clip and graze the side of your mouse pad and add some extra friction, which I was not a fan of, and it kind of caught me off guard. I've never really experienced that with like the Razer Viper V3 Pro or the GPX or anything like that. So the skates, in my opinion, just kind of were like one weak side. I wasn't really a fan of that, but Overall, like 90% of the time, you didn't feel it, and then the skates felt great. It was just a couple times when moving it, I think I hit it at a weird angle, and it did scrape. I just want to mention that in case you guys might experience the same thing. Onto the coating of the mouse, I am very impressed with the coating. It's very grippy, even with sweaty hands. Like last night, my hands were getting very sweaty after around like three hours of playing, and the grip on it is incredible. I've mentioned this before, I actually do not like mice that have holes in them, even though it's going to give you like a little bit lighter feel. Uh, I really like mice that are just like have this smooth coating and it's going to give you great grip on it and honestly it's smooth soft to the touch feels absolutely great um, very impressed with the coating there and the Helios 2 Pro S uses Huanu blue shell pink dot switches which I have tested out before I absolutely love these switches they're extremely popular in the enthusiast community and for a very good reason the main buttons have minimal pre and post travel, making the clicks feel very responsive and easily spammable. I was actually playing around with the debounce time in the software. I put it all the way down to like four. And I'm not going to lie, I was getting double clicking when it was set to four. However, uh, I put it back to eight. Eight is like the standard and it feels completely fine. But yeah, the clicks feel absolutely great. And here's actually a sound test of how those clicks feel. So as you guys heard, those clicks feel very, very good. They feel light. I would say they feel a little bit heavier compared to the Razer Viper V3 Pro, but not by much. The Razer Viper V3 Pro has super light clicks. This one's a little bit heavier, a little bit deeper, and honestly reminds me a little bit of the clicks on the Logitech G Pro Super Light. So that's just something you can kind of compare it to. The side buttons feel absolutely phenomenal. If you guys know me, you know I absolutely love when there's a gap in between the side buttons. I don't like when they're mashed right next to each other. And as you guys can see, there is a gap. And just quickly showing you guys up close, there's actually two grooves that go inward on either side of the side buttons. And that actually helps so you don't fat finger and accidentally hit the wrong button. So I greatly appreciate that Fantech decided to add that. Um, I have not seen that on a mouse before, so that's really cool that they decide to add those grooves inward. Um, I'm actually a big fan of those, so kudos to them for adding that. Onto the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is actually one of my favorite parts of this mouse. I absolutely love the rubber texture on the top here. It's fast, it's smooth, and it pops out of the mouse greatly. Like, it's not deep inside the mouse like a bunch of other mice that I've tried, like the Endgame Gear OP1 8K. This scroll wheel pops out of the mouse. I had no problem scroll wheel resetting in the tournament. I never really messed up anything there, so scroll wheel feels absolutely great. Onto the sensor and kind of more of the specific parts of the mouse. So, the Helios 2 Pro S features the Pixar 30 395 sensor again very very common sensor in the peripheral industry it supports up to 4k hertz polling rate wirelessly and 8k hertz polling wired which i find very interesting you can get 8k hertz wired i'm not sure why you would want to use this mouse wired i played around with it wired at 8k hertz and honestly like i didn't really feel a difference compared to 4k hertz and i didn't really like how the wire felt i'm not gonna lie so you can use like an aftermarket super light cable if you guys want uh, but yeah, I'm not sure why you would want to get like this mouse and use it wired for 8k hertz I'm not sure if that's gonna help you in any way But I played the entire tournament last night on 4k hertz polling rate and it felt absolutely phenomenal The performance is solid. There's no complaints whatsoever. There's no skipping hopping jumping um, The sensor feels great. So great job on the sensor Onto the size and shape I'm actually gonna quickly switch over to my elo shapes if you guys know what elo shapes is I'll switch over my scene real quick and actually, I will take off my webcam as well. So right here, as you guys can see, the Razer Viper V3 Pro is the pinkish outline and the Fantech Helios 2 Pro S is the blue outline. So as you guys can see, the Razer Viper V3 Pro is seven millimeters longer. That's why uh, kind of straight off the bat, I noticed that my fingers were kind of farther down on the mouse compared to the farther back as it would be on the Razer Viper V3 Pro. 
uh, but you guys can see they're both 64 millimeters wide and then the Helios 2 Pro S is just slightly shorter, 2 millimeters shorter. But look at the weight. The weight is 55 grams on the Fantech Helios 2 Pro S, and the Razer Viper V3 Pro is 54 grams. So very similar in weight, and I think that's why I adapted to this mouse so fast, is because it's essentially just a shorter Razer Viper V3 Pro, minus a few things. Uh, I still prefer the Razer Viper V3 Pro in my opinion, but I'm still going to continue to use this Fantech mouse and kind of get used to it more. I was just kind of shocked to see how similar these were dimensions and weight wise. Uh, and honestly, I didn't really notice or have any problems with this mouse being seven millimeters shorter. And what I find really cool about this mouse is you could use all three grip types on this mouse. You guys could use palm grip, claw grip, or fingertip grip just based on these dimensions. Since it's so short, you guys can easily use like a claw or fingertip. With it being close to 40 millimeters and 64 millimeters wide, it's perfect for palm grip like I use. And I adapted to that palm grip right away and felt no problems with it even being that short. So just really cool that you could use all grip types on this mouse. Now onto some random like tidbits about the mouse. So on the back side here, you guys can see that there's three options. The one at the top that I have it set to is for the dongle, so you can get 4K Hertz pulling there. The one in the middle is for the wired mode, so you guys can get 8K Hertz pulling. And the one on the bottom says BT, and that stands for Bluetooth, so you guys can have Bluetooth support. I don't personally ever use Bluetooth support, but I know a few people who do, so this might appeal to you guys. But yeah, I like how there is a lot of options there. And also the DPI button is on the bottom of the mouse with a blue light indicator. Uh, very cool there. I really like that as well. The build quality of the mouse is absolutely excellent. There's no flexing whatsoever. Even when I try to squeeze it hard, which I do not recommend squeezing your mouse like with a death grip because it might break it. Uh, but I did squeeze this, did a little squeeze test on it. There's zero creaking. The design is honestly pretty flawless. There's not really any errors in the build design. And so the last thing I want to talk about with you guys is actually the mouse's software, which I think is the most lackluster part of the mouse. Um, obviously, it's not an actual part of the mouse, but it's just the software. And I'll actually switch to my desktop real quick to kind of show you guys the issue that I've been kind of having recently. It's been a little bit annoying. So basically, what you guys are going to do, you'll just go to the Fantech website, look for downloads, and you'll just download the correct software for your mouse. And then as you guys can see, it'll put like the mouse on your desktop if you'd like it. And it'll say Fantech Helios 2 Pro S. And say I want to open the software, just like a Razer Synapse or something like that. I double click it and all it says is the program is running and it won't give me any other option to enter in unless I fully restart my PC. I'm not sure if that's just like an issue on their part or if like it's an issue on mine, but literally like if you hit OK, like nothing happens whatsoever and you can't really go in and change your settings around, which I find a little bit annoying. but. Honestly, their software, it's very, very basic. I'm not going to lie, it looks very outdated. I'll try to find a picture and throw it on screen. Uh, but really, the only thing you could play around with is like, obviously, like your polling rate, you could change, you could change your DPI, and then you could change like the debounce time. And I played around with the debounce time. I keep it at eight milliseconds because I don't want any double clicking issues whatsoever. But obviously, you guys can play around with that as you please. But yeah, I just think their software is a little bit lackluster, a little outdated, and not a huge fan compared to almost every software that I've tried, in all honesty. Uh, so yeah, not the biggest fan there. But other than the software, this mouse has pleasantly surprised me. I'm very, very impressed. Let me actually switch my cam back. I'm very impressed with how this mouse feels and my experience with it, especially playing Fortnite. I'll actually put some gameplay at the end of this video so you guys can watch that um, and just see how I played using this mouse. It's just a really fun, really fun mouse to use and play on. So again, shout out Fantech for sending this out to me. I greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for a giveaway on the two gaming mice that Fantech sent out right here i'll be posting the announcement for the giveaway in my discord so stay tuned for that and yeah with that said guys thank you so much for watching this review thank you fantech for sending this out and honestly if you guys are looking for kind of like a razor viper v3 pro kind of clone then this is kind of an underrated gem in the market i do recommend this for fortnite it's a cheaper option compared to the razor viper v3 pro it's very similar in weight and shape minus the length it's a little bit shorter but it is still going to appeal to all three grip types so yeah again strongly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oops. So I'll take left, you take right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, bet. 130? Kind of nice.
My guy's like underneath. Hey, read letter real quick. Okay. 31. 100. Okay. Oh, uh, both in this one box? Yeah, white. Dead. Okay. 200. Nice, good stuff. Nice. Tell Killer Flows we says good luck. Flows says good luck. If you know Flows. Uh, Flows. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Flows. <laughs> thank you. I was yeah. trying to think of who that was for a second, but yeah, thank yeah. you. Oh, 140. Holy shit, I'm crazy. Nice. Yeah. I'm looking at you. Uh, 95. Okay. I'm gonna get your finish real quick. Okay, but I'm insane for that, my god. I'm going, uh, I'm dropping down for a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Heading around, popping flop. Okay, looking for a good peek real quick, trying to get yep. us wall. Got it. Nice, nice. Okay. Yep. He's stuck in a corner box, yeah, he can't up. really he's up now. move too much. Yeah. 100. Nice. Dead. Let's good go. Good shit, bro. shit, good shit. Yep. Uh, I think we could do all 10, honestly. These are going quick. Yeah, 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 I'm done. So, bet. Dirty blue. Okay. Oh, I'm in his box. I think they're both down, right? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so. Oh. Drop it down. Uh, one's AFK. Okay. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm with. Or maybe I should sit back because one v one. Or oh, his teammates no, back. back. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yep. You drop back down, I think. Going down. Yep. I'm getting out. Okay. Reloading. Do you need minis or are you good? No, I'm popping them. I'm popping them. Okay. Trying to get this wall over here? Yep. Got wall. 100. Done. Okay. Nice. Pushing up. Dead. Nice. Good Let's stuff. Go, Let's, go. Let's just do first to five. Let's do first to five. That round took All a right, little bit. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, it's 503 already. You're right. Done. Ooh, that was a good shot by this guy. Hundred. Okay. I'm going back. Yeah, yeah. Hit 100 on green skin. Alright, yeah, I hit my guy like 80. Bet. Get into your side. Yep, yep. 150, 150. Okay. Dead? Oh my god. Looking down. On me, on me. He's got me full box. Dead. Nice, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you're moving, bro. No, I know, I know. I like that. I'm just like flicking and they're hitting, bro. I don't know. Nah, you're good. Good stuff. 100. Oh, I think one rushing to your side. Both rushing to your side. I'm Kay. looking at you. Yeah, one. They're split now. Okay. Looking at this guy. Got wall. Yeah. 100. Yep, yep. Spring. Getting down. Reloading real Dead. quick. Got him. Nice. Can't build up. Other one is riding right side, I think. Yeah. He dropped down. Yeah, yeah, I'm following him. Did you get your finish or no? Oh, uh, no, no, no. He's trying to res. 100. Nice, bro. Dead. Let's no, go. Alright, back, back out. out. Yep.